You're that guy running for Senate, aren't you? I am that guy, yeah. Are you a registered New York voter? Do I sound like I am? <laughs> David! I gotta go. Sorry. How was that? I don't know. Hi, I'm Lou Minnick, Chief Film Critic of the New York Post, here with a review of the Adjustment Bureau. The misleading trailers for the supremely goofy Adjustment Bureau promised action-packed science fiction. What you actually get is Matt Damon's love-struck senatorial candidate being chased around Manhattan by fedora-wearing angels. Among other things, they have the power to make cabs unavailable and drop cell phone calls, something that happens regularly in these parts without any apparent divine intervention. But these angels apparently have no pull at all with the editors of the New York Post, who just before the election published a photo of Damon mooning his fellow alumni at a college reunion. The never seen picture somehow derails Damon's candidacy, but a man's room encounter with the delicious Emily Blunt somehow inspires him to give a speech that revives his political career. A second meeting with her a few days later on a bus causes Damon to accidentally discover that his life has been manipulated since birth by angels who prefer to be referred to as case officers. All heck breaks loose when Damon has another totally random encounter with Blunt three years later, just as he's about to launch a second senatorial campaign. Oh my god, what's happening to me? What's happening All you to need me? to know, we're being chased. I need you to trust me. I need you to trust me. Okay. Okay, come on. Find another door. What the hell is going on? In fact, writer and director Joel Snoffy, loosely adapting a story by sci-fi icon Philip K. Dick, could have turned the Adjustment Bureau, filled as it is with arbitrary plot twists, great Manhattan locations, and a pair of stars with genuine chemistry, into a romantic comedy with very few changes. So I'm giving the Adjustment Bureau two stars out of four. I'm Lou Luminick, and you can find my reviews at nypost.com. If you stay with her, it not only kills your dreams, it kills hers.